I guess this is just a part of the journey, but I literally am sitting on the side of the road because my car won't drive on the road because it is so rainy and my car is like no traction with the road at all, so. It is amazing here. Day one of my me retreat is slowly coming to an end. Um, checked out Lake Minnewanka, which was incredible and everything I hoped it would be. And then I went through Banff to check out where Tunnel Mountain is, because I'm doing that hike tomorrow. Uh, Banff falls trail i want to try to do tomorrow and then the cave and bassin historic site no idea what it is but it looked cool on the internet so i'm gonna do it i'm super excited for day two part two of miami retreat starts actually started at 8 30 this morning i am currently making a poncho of a garbage bag getting ready to go hike tunnel mountain and go to the cave and bassin historic site i am on my way to the Cave and Bastion historic site, going hiking to the Sundance Canyon, and then going to Tunnel Mountain to hike up this really steep mountain with apparently a beautiful view, so I'm so excited. I have just started the hike to the canyon. It's about 30 minutes to the start of the canyon, and then the total loop is about three hours. Don't think I'm gonna do the full three hours because that's a long time. I'm going to go at least 30 minutes in to see the first canyon. Okay, so second thoughts. Turning around because seriously, if a bear or something came out and wanted to attack me, they easily could. So <laughs> the views are amazing. I got the opportunity to go into the cave at Cave and Bassin, and it was so cool. I am currently on my way up the lower level of Tunnel Mountain, and it's really steep. So I parked down there. So I was on the Tunnel Mountain trail, and I saw people higher up than me. I was like, I want to be up there. So I just booked it up that <laughs> up this mountain from all the way down there. It doesn't look that steep, but it is. I just went past the sign that said Tunnel Mountain is an hour and a half round trip. I'm doing it. This hike reminds me of a miniature version of Sulphur Mountain. Sulphur Mountain was two and a half hours. This is only one and a half, but man is it steep. I guess the plus side is my view is I had an absolutely amazing day. I started at Cave and Bassin historic site, which was great. I was going to Sundance Canyon until someone told me it was three hours long and there's just no way I'm doing that in a day because I wanted to fit in so much. Tunnel Mountain was amazing. Um, what I thought was like a 20 minute hike turned out to be an hour and a half, but I made a new friend. That was something that I had a list of things I wanted to do while I came here. But one of them, very last minute, was I want to meet someone. I have no idea who they are. I, I, I didn't explain that well. Anyways, um, so I did. It was, like, so great. She is from Japan. She's here for three months, and she was a gymnast. So, like, we obviously hit it off right away. Um, and I spent my rest of my day with her. So we went up Tunnel Mountain, got really cool pictures. And now I have my bathing suit on. Going to the hot springs and I'm pumped.
it. So that's been my day so far. It's been amazing. I'm loving here and I don't want to end. I had such a good night tonight after I went to the stores downtown in, in Canmore. I went to the hot springs in Banff and it was so nice. And then I took a drive kind of on the countryside and we saw some deer which were so close to our car so we stopped and got some pictures. So that pretty much topped off the night to end it. And then I went home and had a bath and I'm in bed and I'm ready to sleep. And tomorrow is downtown Banff and then home. I am looking forward to sleeping on my own bed because sleeping in a hotel room is friggin' scary by yourself. I don't have crazy thoughts about someone coming in and kidnapping me. Okay, I'm scaring myself. I need to stop. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, so I just came out of the grocery store and I got three things. Things that apparently aren't in Japan are Pop-Tarts. So I got her frosted strawberry Pop-Tarts. Skittles. So I have mega size pack of Skittles and last thing was Rice Krispies so why get the plane when you can get chocolate caramel so hopefully she likes these too. look what I got so funny that I got her things that she can't get in Japan and then she gets in my car and she hands me a little gift bag um, so there's these obviously I have no idea what they are but she said they're sweet and so I like sweet and then, best part, I think, of it all. I don't know what they are, but that looks like chocolate chips to me, and those look like baby cookies. So, met me for a day and a half, and she knows me all too well. Just going back to Edmonton now, um, but overall, amazing, amazing, amazing weekend. I, I, it's more than what I wanted it to be, and I honestly just want to do it again somewhere else. So, that was my trip. It was amazing. I'm so happy that I did it. Um, and I can't wait to do it again.